Hello and welcome to, well, I guess our my first full-length video on this channel. We're in Poinsettia Park in California. I'm on the left in the pink shorts. Tom's on the right in the blue shorts. We're going to play some, you know, doubles pickleball here and have some fun. And we're relaxing and we kind of get into it with a guy on the court. Not really. He just gets mad. Very angry. <laughs> So before we get into all that, I mean, this is my first video ever. I'm starting a channel. I, oh, Tom blobbing again. Like always, you're going to notice that's a theme when we play together. But uh, I'm starting a channel. Like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what I should do better, what I can do that I'm missing. You know, just any advice, great feedback. I mean, even if it's negative, I'll, I'll take anything I can get. This is all for fun for me. So with a tennis background, I obviously am more comfortable with the drive, and you're about to see uh, why. I mean, Tom right here, this ball goes in the net, easy dink. He's probably thinking, you know, wow, you suck. I can't stress how much, like, we're playing this game just for fun and how the video doesn't show how frustrated the guy on the other side, the right on the right side of the court, is getting just mad and he's whispering under his breath, lucky shot at us over and over. Yeah, I think in pickleball, like the court's so small, so when you make a bad call, it's just so magnified because almost everyone can see it. And you just get the facial expressions on their face and you know Oh, that guy did it on an accident, or, oh, this dude knows what he did. But it's part of sports. you got to shake it off and move on. In this moment, this is the moment where you just want to break your paddle over your knee or on the ground, and then you realize that this overpriced hunk of junk is like 220 bucks. I know when Tom watches this, this is when he's gonna be laughing. If you see me walking back up to the point, and sometimes in between points, you'll see me like crack my neck to the side. It almost looks like I have Tourette's or something when he first met me at the park. Aww. Sorry to break up that story there, but yeah, when he first met me at the park, I was just cracked my neck side to side. I still do that. Been doing that for a long time. Uh, I hurt my neck when I was, I guess like basically fresh uh yeah no senior year of high school and i crack my neck a lot and you know i get big knots in there and vertebrae out of place so you'll see me looking like an idiot yeah there's a third shot drop and another and a third third shot drop unsuccessful what am i doing luckily the guy on the other side of the net bailed me out with a terrible dink but yeah that's a third shot drop expert right there. Uh, Not. Okay, that ball was smack dab on the line. Um, we're in a park. We just met these people. We're not going to complain that much, but I mean, we knew it. And then. Now, what am I thinking here? This is just... Yeah, this is why Tom needs a new partner. So, yeah, this is my probably my second time ever watching a video of me playing pickleball. I've definitely watched myself play tennis before, like for coaching and instruction, but... It, I mean, it opens your eyes. You're like, man, the pros are so good. And you start to see all these mistakes you make, and you're like, I can't believe I missed that much in a game. And, yeah, so I think it's, it's good for coaching. It's good for humility. It's good for, you know, seeing where you're on your back foot, like that on the dink, Tom. Like, get balance, buddy. Oh, that's a one. Tom has this stupid thing. It's like he watched the terminal list with Chris Pratt and then he tried to apply it to his whole life, but he'd, be, he'd been doing this before that show came out, which is an amazing show, by the way, top notch. He always says you're on his list. I mean, that means he needs to... It was at this moment, his anger meter, well, 
it just started to rise. He started spiking the ball back, making sure we had to go get it in between points. And there's just a little bit of underhanded, you know, lucky, just weird mumblings under his breath. And now he just, his, his, his ears started to steam a little bit. So yeah, at this moment, he would be on Tom's list, which is imaginary, but apparently like 50,000 people that play pickleball are already on it at this point. And he's like, go fetch. All right, let's randomly break down this next point. Um, I, you know, struggling to stack here because I don't know where the heck I'm supposed to be half the time. And yeah, I mean, Tom, was that supposed to be a lob, brother? Like, or were you trying to get the ball hit at me? I gotta give him props here. It was a it was a good drive. And I should have been sitting on a forehand. I was sitting on a backhand grip, I guess. And yeah, good drive. Maybe you know you'd think he'd calm down a little bit. You know, and there's another line call right there. I mean, I think it was out, but everything close or even on the line was definitely getting called out. All right. I mean, like underhand serve, basically. Tom plays it well, good volley, and a missed drop. You know, in general, when you can keep your opponent back because they just don't come in, you don't even have to hit a hard ball, just roll it at their feet. Make them... His partner, you know, the shorter gentleman on the other side, was really nice. So when he hit the ball far away from us and made his fetch, like, it was nice. He was apologizing, you know, every time he communicated with us, he had good manners, and you know, it's just normal. It's just normal, we just met in the park, Let's, you know, let's have a friendly game. Here I try to get him on a little slice serve. I wasn't hitting it, and I wasn't putting enough spin on it, but I do like to hit that serve in the backhand corner with depth on a righty. If you can get it to stay low, usually you can get a short return, and that's what all we're looking for is then it sets up an easier third shot drop. Well, I'm going to stop pausing and starting my chat and kind of go more to a commentary mode right now. Um, we're getting to the midpoint of this match. Um, our opponent was getting a little bit frustrated on the other side. Sadly, you know, with the tripod view, you really don't see that much emotion from him. But uh, there was a lot of comments under his breath. And, you know, we're having this friendly game. And I know me and Tom were actually, um, I know this channel talks about Maui pickleball, but I'm actually on vacation in this video in California. We went over there for... Uh, a Palm Desert tournament. We got to stay with my uncle in his beautiful house and just like, you know, hang at the pool, hot tub, and then go to these beautiful parks and just experience these great facilities that, you know, California has to offer. Um, and, you know, we're, we're enjoying ourselves. And I guess you could say, I think it's funny because, uh, well, there's just a little bit of controversy at the end of this match. But uh, yeah, needless to say, me and Tom, you know, we played in a tournament and it didn't go as well as we planned but we had a lot of fun um you know just a lot of fun and you know and i just want to break down some of this like a little volley battle here and then me bricking in the net of course and that kind of became a theme of the tournament you know i just gotta i gotta work on my hand speed and especially on that backhand side rolling those volleys tom here with a drive that's just like unheard of for him i don't think he knows how to drive the ball he'd be the first to say that um, there and then he misses that forehand volley. So Tom, if you're watching this, stop missing forehand volleys. It's it's embarrassing. You're better than that. Here's where I thought that guy was just trying to tag Tom to get back at him. So I hit a good cross court dink and that dude just railed the ball at him. Um, I don't know. I need to give this guy a name. Maybe it's just anger head. But yeah, I thought Tom was gonna Ernie that, but I guess it just wasn't there. That's, that's one of his best shots, that backhand Ernie. Um, early, even in the first point of the game, he actually earned that for like a medium height lob, and they just looked at each other and looked kind of like, who plays that? So, angry head on the other side, you know, he just kind of walks with a mean demeanor. Um, his partner, his name is actually Axel. We got to talk to him, uh, I guess, after a couple more games. And he was just such a nice guy, actually. Um, I sent him the video of the games, and, you know, just, I, I really liked Axel. I thought he was a genuine person. He was a good player, good hands. Um, 
But unfortunately, in this game, we just started picking on his partner here. Like, you notice most of that one was a little wide. I know Tom was pretty bummed, but, you know, we were getting calls close to the line there. And, you know, uh, I guess what I could say, sorry, I'm a little congested, is like, you know, Axel was being kind. But this other guy just, man, he was killing the vibe. And so there's a good drop by Tom. I intercepted but hit a bad ball and that kind of spiraled out to me getting over and just smacked on me but uh yeah guys i i'm new to this this is the first video i've ever edited so i mean like subscribe if you enjoy this video i'm gonna try and upgrade my content the quality i know is gonna get better i'm gonna try and post more gameplay some drills some coaching stuff just anything pickleball i mean i'm a pickleball addict now i love it um, it's the fastest growing sport in the world. Um, oh, we missed that. I mean, I think there it was another chance. He just wanted to hit me. So the previous game we played them, not shown. The very first point of the match, Tom nailed this dude with an overhead. And I just think he hated us after that, which, if you ask me, it's part of the game. It's fun. So here's where everything shifted. We have this point right here. You know, we have a... The ball hits the net court. He bends down right here. And, I mean, I don't show it right there, but, yeah, he whispered, you bleeping, bleeping B-word to me. And I remember thinking, like, he didn't just say it to me. Like, like, oh, loud everyone heard it. He whispered and made eye contact. And, like, just don't call a grown man up b word and then of course i had a net cord winner which is unfortunate right after it and you know he's chirping saying that's the only good shot you have so you no know, next point ding got him that's number two that was intentional tom's laughing i usually wouldn't play that way but the man just called me a bitch. so yeah and I'm not innocent in all this. After he called me that, I went back to Tom and was like, under my breath, I said, did you hear what he just said? And Tom was like, no. And so when I hit that net court winner and he said, all your shots are lucky, you know, y'all are trash, I definitely might have told him to shut up in a more colorful way, which is uncharacteristic for me on a court. But yeah, at this point, like, it was just... Like, these were random strangers we never met. And for him to call me the B word, to me, that's like just something you never do to another grown man unless it's joking and like your best friends and you talk that way to each other. But yeah, I mean, I just, I just don't get it. Like, but continue the fun. At this mo moment, like my anger is gone. Like I just want to beat them and kick them off the court so they have to wait to play. And you know, Tom and me are communicating well at this point. We're starting to play, like, more in a groove, I would say. You know, I felt like we knew, you know, we're taking control of this game. Like, we can dominate the weaker player on the other side. He obviously was getting frustrated, and that that is any any athlete knows when your opponent's getting frustrated. It's, it's fun to pick on them a little bit, just keep hitting the ball at them, kind of poke the bear. There's a good drop by Tom. You know, that drive there to end the game, probably going out, but he hasn't proven he can get out of the way. So, oh, and I, this is where I explained to Tom how he tapped my paddle and then he tried to spear me with his paddle afterwards. <laughs> the little petty.